Alrighty, ladies and gents, welcome to another episode here with me, Snake Gaming, as your host, and we're going to be looking at Lash today. Now, the build I went was more of a playmaker style. Um, I was going to go just to, you know, get my ults off, disrupt the plays of the enemies, things like that. So you'll see the way I play, I didn't go a gun build, I didn't go a spirit build, I didn't do anything funny. I just got some basic items to help me in my maneuverability, uh, so that I can roam and rotate quite a bit. Do a bit of burst damage, try and disrupt the enemy, replace them or displace them, and then get out of there. You'll also see the game style that I was playing. I was hanging back. I was in the front line. I was hanging back, waiting for the right opportunity to jump in. And um, that is essentially what got us the win. And I went 10 and 0 for the game. So zero death, meaning perfect positioning. And uh, because we won, because I got a lot of kills, means I was actually there. You know, I wasn't just, I didn't get killed because i was okay i was there i was helping the team so have a look all right so just to run through the lash skills for those of you guys that don't know firstly we got the ground strike it's stomp the ground beneath you it's better to do it from an elevated position you'll see in the beginning i jump up on high ground and then i smash down on that abrams and it does a butt ton of damage um the damage goes slower after 25 meters so you can only go so far up and that is why Mystic Leap is one of the good items with this hero because you can jump up into the sky and then smash down into the enemies. The grapple is something that you can use to either engage or escape. You lash, leash yourself to someone and you go like up into the air, fly over him, and then from there on you can dash down or you can use your ultimate ability. The flog is strike enemies with your whip and you're stealing life from them. So it's like uh, basically just life steal. And then you got the death slam, which is your ultimate ability. You jump up into the air, you hover. You don't have to jump up, but that's usually the best. So then you've got an area, you scan the area, see if there's any enemies within that area. And then what you do is you'll click, lift them up, and then you can select where you want to um, disperse them or put them down again. So uh, it's a good area way to either get enemies underneath your tower. Your walker is great because your walker stomps and it extra stuns them, does a lot of damage. Or just to get them out from underneath their walker and into a place where your teammates can kill them. So Really great hero for team fights and uh, getting some good pickoffs. All right, that's Lash. Now for the laning stage, I'm with a good buddy of mine, uh, Warpig. So I know I can count on him to get the last hits. And what I'm going to do here, first and foremost, I'm going to go for high ground here and get some damage onto the enemy. When they get a bit of damage, it usually just makes them a bit more, play more scared. So you can see here, launch down onto the Abrams, and he's it's down to half HP, and he just started the lane, right? So that's a good way to start the game, and now we can focus on last hits without getting harassed by the enemy too much. So you'll see we versus the Abrams and the Seven. Um, both those heroes are heroes that can do quite a lot of damage, and obviously the Abrams can be quite tanky. Here you'll see, I <laughs> go for another little high ground play. You take a little bit of damage here, it's not too bad. But um, I end up not getting all the damage I want because they were playing too far back. But it's okay, we dish a little bit of damage. We get 7 to use some spells. And now we've got our lifesteal. Now, sometimes it helps to rather start with the lifesteal. But um, in this case, yeah, it helped out well. Now, we struggled to get any pickups in the lane, so I rotated quite quick. And uh, started pushing out the enemy lanes here. Or the, the, my friends' teammates' lanes. So uh, you'll see her running around, I'll show you guys some of the, the play, but rotating, just running from lane to lane and doing some ganks. And here we managed to pull up with our ultimate, get the kill onto the Abrams, alright. Um, that guy is a tank, but luckily we were able to handle him during this game quite easily. You'll see I also focus on, um, and certain times I'll go, you know, sit away from my team sit behind my team i'm waiting for the right moment to engage right i'm not going to the weapon build lash which is actually very strong i'll do a video on that later on um i'm not doing full spirit build lash i'm just doing like an all-rounder lash all right and now you'll see as well as i rotate i'm just i'm not just running willy-nilly i'm actually looking for crates i'm looking for farm along the line and then waiting for the opportunity to be able to go in, to get a bit of a rash, push them back, and then off I go again. I want to not show myself on the map the whole time. I want the enemy to be scared of where I could potentially pop up. So here we go, bit of harass damage on the warden again. 
nothing too bad um, pushing out purple lane our purple lane did lose quite badly unfortunately but uh, it's okay we we make the comeback so we get the sprint boots there you can see I want to be able to run around a little bit more I want to be able to dish out way more damage right um, Later on, I'll quickly run through the items that we got at the end of the game for you guys. But yeah, you can see the amount of damage we take a haze from like almost full HP to what? Yeah, we're all here, but one third you're of our HP. The corner. And here we go. See the Abrams again. I want to make sure we get we that Abrams build. We are fighting. so much survival. Once haze. he gets a couple of hits off, he heals up so much. So that is why we use our ult on him there, just to make sure we get the Abrams kill. Follow up with the haze kill. Great stuff for us. And then back off again get some farm you'll see uh we do pretty well in the farming stage um or in the farming game rather uh we never fall too far behind and uh, during the game i didn't die once which is also good now you'll see i'm always playing from high ground looking down and uh you can use these boosters to get you into certain situations here as you can see here Get down there unfortunately ivy is able to dodge a lot of my damage there which is good for him i mean well played but uh end up with him dying nevertheless took him down all right now once again rotating we're in a new lane i see warden i uh, see there's a good fight happening on green map awareness and i can use this same rotation from the roofs to get in there again now i'm keeping eye out because i see there's some fights just below me here i see some enemies ahead and I decided it's time to go engage. Big slam onto these two, dealing loads of damage, and then back off. Alright, I don't stand and fight. I use my grapple to get out of there for a second there. Um, but uh, I don't stand and fight. I don't want to be the center of attention. I'm not a tanky lash, and I can't just dish out continual damage. I do damage in short bursts. Hayes does find me here, but uh, I'm able to dodge around that pillar, get her knocked up, and... Uh, oh, that's not a good way to say it. I lift her into the air with my ground pound and um, there's actually no good way to say that everything sounds fun but yeah I missed that ground pound completely but we get the ult lift up the haze slam her down towards the enemy walker and you can see she's out of stamina so that walker is doing so much damage to her and that enables us to get the kill eventually even though she almost gets away here I struggle to see her she's gone in of his luckily walker is here with me and he launches the arrow and down goes Hayes. Hayes is generally a big problem. You can see she's doing pretty well. And you can see there, they killed my friend Warpig, but I managed to just dodge past them, use my grapple to get out of sight because the grapple is not only there for enemies. You can use it on your teammates as well to pull you out of sticky situations. Big ground pound over there, doing a lot of damage onto that Abrams and then a lift, sending him back into my team and we get another kill on the Abrams. All right. um, and the assist onto Ivy. So great stuff again. Repositioning the enemy to a place where um, they don't want to be in the midst of the enemy or in the midst of my team rather. Now I see the Warden ult there and I back the hell out of there. All right, I'm a Warden player. I know what that ultimate does. And uh, I know that I don't want to be part of that stuff. So yeah, again, looking for high ground. Look at it where I am the whole time. Look at my positioning as Lash. All right. The whole time I am sitting either way back behind my team from a position where I can engage or on high ground looking down at the enemy, right? That gives information to my team. They can see what I see on the minimap. They can see where the enemy is. And it gives me the opportunity to launch down. And again, just look at that damage coming in from one ability on her arrow, all right? So positioning is key when playing Lash as a... A more of a support style lash i'd say yeah. it's the best way to explain it because i'm not dealing tons of damage yeah i did do a lot of damage in general but i didn't go the full damage build you know you'll see my items is also all over the place nothing really expensive i did get mystic reverb which is probably the most expensive item i'll get all right now uh you see me launching in there and then tossing Haze back to my team and they are waiting with open arms. That poor Haze is in the middle of three of us. And now Infernus thinks he needs to come up and help because the, well, that's his main carry and, you know, that just ends up getting him killed. And now the enemy trickles in one by one. Uh, you can see they just die one by one. We've got the uh, Warden coming up behind us again. 
I know his ult is running, I know I've got to get back and avoid it. I don't want to man fight that guy. 1v1 Warden is just way too strong. Uh, especially for me not dealing much damage, right? I don't do sustained damage, I do short bursts of damage um, with this build specifically, right? Now again, launching in from up high, I didn't land too much of my, my uh, ground pound unfortunately, but I did get a little bit of damage out, get my lash out, and then rotate. And you can see the way I move, it's not, you know, in a straight direction, I'm actually moving towards um, the, the Rushon but there and then backing through the Rushon but making sure these guys are chasing me because it's time wasted for them as well Broadway if they're not pushing a lane if they're chasing me the whole time it's basically space created alright now again sitting way back here so I can't take damage and waiting to use my Mystic Leap I'm also waiting for some teammates to be around you can see Warpig is on the way there with Great Talent as long as Geist is on the way and uh, launch up deal a lot of damage Toss in furnace back to my team, and uh, then I see oh, he's not alone. There's seven here as well, so I start backing out of it. We well, didn't get the inferno skill just yet, but he will go down eventually, as you see here. Launch into the midst of them there, and uh, back out again. The whole time it's just rinse and repeat in and out. All right, so positioning like is key. So if you think you're more of a brawler, you want to go in and uh, fight the enemy head on this might not be the build for you you really have to think about what you're doing at all times when playing this build and lash again launching in doing a butt ton of damage over there but uh, seven did manage to dodge it but look how easy it is to dodge that seven ult he's just above us and we're just standing underneath here all right <coughs> down goes the seven or big decided he's got enough damage to kill him launch in i get some slows onto the abrams here and uh, we are chasing him. Nice little parry. And uh, down he goes. That's something a lot of people don't do with Abrams. You got to remember to hit those parries, all right? Uh, I want to oh, go as far as saying, like, because I know it's difficult, you have panic mode. But I want to go as far as in saying, when there's an Abrams, remove your fingers from all other keys except your mouse. Don't even left click. And just hold the parry button ready, all right? That's a big thing, all right? Just quickly, mid boss here, you can see I was ready for that. After we killed the mid boss, oh, I went high ground immediately and me. got my ult ready and primed so that nobody could yeah, steal it. A haze ult them. in the pit like this is death Just for the squad, alright? We still end up taking quite a couple of losses, but it would have been way worse if uh, the um, uh, haze had been able to ult there as well. So again, I fought a little bit, went back on high ground, launched back in, got the kill on Infernus, go back in here now, wait for spells to come off cooldown. It's just a constant in and out the whole time. Alright, so yeah, we did uh, take quite a couple of losses over here. Here you can see me again, watching the enemy, waiting for the right opportunity. A three-man ult launching in dealing so much yeah, damage all right oh, fuck, a lot over and like here. i said i'm not even building a damage builder look at this parry coming up here look at this parry this guy is in close quarters he goes for the stun and with this punch down he goes easy kill with his pat on the back all right <laughs> no problems and that's the problem is people are so scared of that abrams because yes he's gonna whack you he's gonna heal up to full but yeah, just one button, there's one so button you need to press, can, and you know, that counters see. that whole man's game. Alright. <laughs> He's actually very good, but for other reasons than what we use him for. Most people nowadays in our pub matches, you're going to use him, you're going to be hitting people, punching people, and life stealing. Whereas um, the main thing is his AoE stun when he launches in, um, his ultimate, and then also his charge when he charges you into the wall, because that's also an AoE stun. So he's more of a control hero. Just look at that, dude. That warden was full HP when I got there and I put him down to under half HP. And I have, like I said, I've got, I don't really have damaging items. I've got mobility items. So, um, yeah, it's something to consider when, you, when you're looking at, at the lash. If you think you have the right gameplay um, and you're patient enough, this is, this is the style to play. All right, we're pressuring the enemy here. We're focusing on... I go in for a dash and a, well, a, a grapple and a little ground pound there onto the Infernus. Um, the whole team is just playing really well. Uh, Warpig on Grey Talon did really, really well. And we were quite fortunate, if I'm not mistaken, this was an SA server as well. 
Um, so very seldom we get to play SA servers. Um, very happy when we do. All right, now we're getting some pressure, getting some um, damage onto this patron that's transforming, and basically all the enemy are dead. So at the moment we're just holding back. There's a, still a seven and a warden and an inferno, which both have massive ults. All right, here comes warden speaking of the devil, and. Uh, got to be sure that we don't get caught off guard. I'm chasing him here, trying to launch into him so I can get a slow onto him, but uh, he's doing really well moving back there, staying out of reach. Oh, there's the other expensive item I got. As you see, I just got my um, uh, Mystic Reaver, but I also had Silence. All right, I had the Silence so that you can silence the IV from using the Stone Form, also silencing Abrams from charging, ulting, haze, ults. There's just so much you can do. Another little ult that we grab two heroes in, launch down, and they just melt so quick. Just look at that damage coming out. It is insane. All right, pause in the action before we finish. Just to give you guys a rundown of the items, we've got a uh, close quarters, active reload, silence, which comes from slowing bullets originally, titanic magazine, so we've got big mag, we've got healing right, which is something you can write off. It's something from the early game. We just never upgraded it. We got the extra stamina, which means we can move around a little bit more because I like to get in and out, so I really like that extra stamina. Mystic Leap, vital point, like most important item that we have. We've got spirit armor, bullet armor, and then we've got the uh, speed boost. All right, so we don't get slowed. We can travel from, map lane, or from lane to lane quite quickly. It just helps you move around a little bit. We've got the extra charge for the grapple hook over there. We've got the extra range so that we have more reach so that we can pick up people from further away, grapple people from further away. Your your uh, ground pound works further, your lash works further, your everything. All right, we got a little bit of mystic vulnerability, we got burst, and then the mystic reverb. All right, those are the items. All right, well, we killed off a couple of enemies. Now it's time to launch in another little kill, cheeky little kill onto Infernus in his own pit there. <laughs> and that is it. This is the GG. As you can see there with the score, we did pretty well. Um, 10 and 0, the perfect game on Lash. Um, and that's only possible because we had a great team, yes. right? I knew I had good backup. I knew I had Warpig there. Warpig is one of the best aimers out there. Um, comes from Call of Duty background. PUBG, CSGO, all those things. So yeah, there you can see I didn't do the most damage. I've got no awards there, right? I don't have the biggest net worth, anything, but I did a good amount of damage. I misplaced the enemies quite a lot. It's all in all, we just played a masterful game there, um, helping out our team, displacing the enemies, making it uncomfortable for them. And that is, for me, the best way to play Lash. But we will add a gun Lash later on. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.